last round on gas potion. Go up here, and we have found a dungeon. You can tell by the little kind of multicolored thing there. Crude preserved head. I do not have room for it. So let's go ahead and go down here. Quest log. This tower shall be cleansed of evil. Yes, explore the the the, the cellar. I guess the tower cellar. Uh, for a tower, I don't know why you just go down. So we got a uh, blood clan. So this uh, Dawnhole looking one uh, that looks like the Night Clan is the special. He is Rastline, special hit, and he dies pretty damn easily. Uh, but I do want to pick up that javelin. So once again, quick shot back to town. And after all that, the javelin was ethereal, which means it can never be repaired. So I don't care. Let's move on then. Let's see what else do we got in here. Oh, we've got these guys. These are ghosts. They go by many names, so I didn't know what the, the basic one was anymore. I'm like, I know them as race. What are they called here? They're they're ghosts. Okay, this targe is gonna be better than what I had. Let's go ahead and put that on. Uh, these, for some reason, don't sell for crap. So I just, if, if if I'm not using it, I might as well just drop it. Targes, the regular targes, they're they're not good. I don't know why. Uh, this uh, the cellar. There there are four levels to it, if I remember correctly, and we should be able to go through them relatively quickly. The this is going to be the longest dungeon that we've come through to this point, but it shouldn't be too difficult. Die, you damn ghost! They drain your mana. Uh, so if you are a sorcerer or anything that relies heavily on mana, you are going to hate those guys and all their iterations. You know what I mean? Just every form of them is going to kick your ass. But I don't give a shit because I am not using mana right now for anything. You can drain my mana all day. I thought they drained mana. They usually do. Oh, I need to heal. Dragon Killer, he is fire enchanted. And fire is actually my weakest uh, right now. Ooh, a spiked club. Now, you'll still get scrolls of identify. Uh, there, you can So you can identify stuff on uh, on site, which is kind of helpful. This, uh, But since this was yellow, I, kn I mean, I knew I was going to sell it. Anyway, now I'm, I'm not going to equip a... Huh. I'm not going to equip a spiked club. Giant pentagram of fire. That usually is not a good sign. But we'll come across many, many worse signs than that throughout the game. Yeah, I guess I'll pick up the key just in case something is locked around here. Strangling gas potion. I, I, I've gotten to the point where I don't even care about selling those anymore. Destroy all the barrels. All the barrels must die. And now it's time to head down to the third level. I mean, we're already on three of, I think, four. Like I said, I'm not sure. Holy crap, I need to heal. No, 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 no. I refuse to die. Okay, let's go. There we go. Just need, just need to do that real quick. Those guys weren't nearly as tough as I was thinking they would be, but I got paranoid for a second there. Light healing, minor skull cap. Am I full? I'm already back to full. Sweet. So no harm, no foul, kind of. A little bit. Uh, we have Devil King, I guess. These are upgrades. Uh, the I mean, to me, is it, it, these guys don't like even really deserve to be up called upgrades. Superior Wolf Head. Is that going to be worth it? Uh, I'm, I'll take a look. But this is level 12 that we've just reached, which is an important level for me. Because now we have a few new techniques we can learn, and I have seven skill points to use them on. Alright, so I need to put one in cleansing. Um, not because I want to use it, but because you see these lines here. Uh, basically, you cannot learn uh, anything... You cannot learn like this skill without learning at least one point in this skill. That's what that line means. I need to put one in cleansing, not because I want to use cleansing, but because I want to use vigor eventually. Uh, so I'm going to put one point there. 
But then I'm going to use Blessed Aim. I'm actually going to use 20 points in Blessed Aim, but I can only use one right now. Uh, you have to be at uh, level 13 to get to the second level of Blessed Aim. Uh, I might end up actually switching um, to Blessed Aim eventually, uh, instead of Might, because it'll give me a higher chance to hit instead of a ch higher um, higher damage when I do hit. Uh, cleansing, by the way, jeez. Uh, it reduces the length of time you and your party remain poisoned or cursed. Uh, to me, it's it's crap. Um, and then I, th I think it adds like poison, or sorry, it adds prayer into it, but still to me, it, yeah, I mean, so if you're going for prayer, go for cleansing instead. But still, no, th to me, it, they're nothing. So I, d I do need, I'm going to fully invest into Blessed Aim, which would be 20 skill points, that's fully investing. And I'm also going to do that in concentration when we finally get there, so, you know, I do need the Blessed Aim to get there as well. Now, since I'm going for Holy Shield, I also need to point into Charge. Uh, basically, um, you use a, a little mana, and I, I think it's... Uh, do you use mana for Charge? I don't n yeah, you use 9 mana for Charge. Good lord. That's ridiculous. Um, and it does a little bit more damage, attack rating goes up, and then... Um, but, but once again, I'm not going to be using that. I'm going to be using uh, Holy Shield and Blessed Hammer. So as you can see, because I don't have Sacrifice, then I can't use Zeal. Uh, Zeal is a very popular build for Paladins as well. Um, yeah, it allows you to attack multiple adjacent enemies with a single attack. That's very uh, common for people to go for, but that's not the build I'm going for at this time. And it looks like that's actually all I can put points into right now. So, we are done here. Let's move on. Yeah, that requires a lot of explaining sometimes, doesn't it? The skills, and of course for, for every character they have their own uh, tree of skills that they can use so every character can technically be different but really when we when it boils down to it there's basically three or four builds per per class and everything else is is just people not knowing what they're doing at the end of the day unfortunately now i swear one of you had to be a special get over here so you can die there is a small charm down here. Unfortunately, I did use my scrolls of identify. Otherwise, I would use that immediately on that. Uh, because, you know, ha it not being identified doesn't give me the bonus. So, if you if you come across one, you got a scroll of identify, use it immediately. Ooh, a scepter. Finally, a paladin specific item. Not It's not that nobody else can equip it, but paladins are the only ones that get the benefits out of it, really. So, yeah, Paladin item, hooray! And already we're down to level 4? Okay. I swear this was the last level to this place. There could be 5. I could be mistaken. But I swear this one only had 4. And we should be coming across the, uh, the Countess very soon. Do you remember the Countess? She's basically a, a vampire. Um, she, she bathed in the blood of virgins, just like the real Countess, way back in Eastern Europe, Europe, back in the day. What the hell is Europe? It's like syrup without the S, or Europe without the Y. Uh, yeah, she, I forgot exactly where, I want to say it was Romania. Whenever it comes to vampires, it's usually Romania, but I don't know that for sure. Let's pick up that minor healing potion and use it. Yeah, I only heard the story a couple times, so you know I, I, I don't know for sure exactly where it was. But the idea was that she wanted to live forever and remain youthful throughout her life, so she bathed in blood, uh, which does keep your skin very pale, uh, but it doesn't extend your life or anything like that. Damn! Die. Okay. Light healing potion. I'm overburdened. All right, fine. I'll use the light one then, even though that's going to heal more than I actually need. Holy crap! There's a lot of things in there. I hate archers. They look a little different, but they all have the same stats. 
Um, the the archers, some of them have helmets, some of them don't. But like so it doesn't actually like add defense to them as far as I can tell. Alright, let's finish looting up this place then. Yeah, that, that didn't... That looked like it was going to be a big problem, but it wasn't, so I'm kind of disappointed now. Anything from the armor? No. Regular boots. Okay, so I was wrong. This place does have five levels. So four normal levels and then the boss level, I guess. Because we... Yeah, dispose of the evil countess. That tells you that she is close by. How am I doing? Uh, yeah, I'm going to take this opportunity to go back to town really quickly. Okay, uh, what I was able to do was get the cold resist uh, plus six. It's the lapis uh, small charm. That's pretty much it. Everything else was, was not that great. Uh, I believe the countess is that way. So let's go this way. Yeah, extra fast, and therefore everybody around him must be extra fast. Damn, dragon killer! Die. So let's go down here. Uh, this is a great place for level grinding as well because there's going to be a ton of gold. So not necessarily level grinding, loot grinding, I guess you could say. Uh, I always focus on getting the loot once more than the levels because levels will come as you fight everything. And you should be fighting everything uh, at least the first time through anyway. So I, I recommend going here um, not only because... Uh, of all the gold down here, but the Countess also, from what I remember, always drops a rune. And it'll be our first rune, because we have not come across any so far. And that's not uh, too uncommon for you not to get a rune to this point. Uh, you can have gotten one, um, but most of the time, from what I've seen, you do not. Oh, snap! We already encountered the Countess! Did you hear that? She said her our blood will boil. And as you can see, I'm so scared that I'm looting. Ooh, a wand. Is it ethereal? No. Oh, look how awesome that thing is. So yeah, if, if, it's, if it's a wand or anything like that, feel free to pick it up even though it's not the color that you want. It's probably still going to be awesome. Uh, like I said, fire is my weakest uh, elemental defense. So I have to run through here. There's the Countess. She is fire enchanted, but she dies very, very quickly. And there we go. We got an Ith rune out of her. Like I said, always drops a rune. And then the super special awesome chest automatically opens. God, let's start picking that shit up now. This is going to take me forever, all this damn gold. To this abandoned trove. Uh, yes, we did bring light. Uh, I would say that I cut him off, but really the sound of the chest still opening cut him off more than I did. So I don't feel too bad about you guys not necessarily hearing what he said. What does the quest log say? It just says quest completed. We don't turn that into anybody. Uh, so our next quest still there. Um, let's finish looting this place for all it's worth. This place does go just around in a big circle. Um, the, the, the part of the floor does. So... There was really no point in going over to this side first or anything like that. You know, we can still finish off everybody here. The Ith rune. Let me finish these guys off and then we'll go over that. Die! I have stuff to talk about. There we go. Okay. Oh, no, no barrels. The Ith rune is, uh, I believe, the sixth level rune. It's it's up there. It's it's. And you can see, we can't even use it yet. It's something that you can socket, uh, you can put into a socket, and it deals plus 9 to maximum damage, 15% uh, damage taken uh, goes to mana. So if you're a magic caster, this is not for you. I if you want to put it on your armor, helms, or shield, if you put it on your weapons, then it might be for you. Uh, but in general, magic casters want to stay away from that room. Uh, anybody that's using any mana pretty much wants to stay away from that room. Um... I'm not going to be using it. Once again, runes are something that uh, can be used for crafting later. So you 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 do not want to use them. Did I pick up bolts or something like that? Feels like it looks like I picked up a couple things I didn't want. No. Fine. Uh, superior level gloves are crap. Superior part of dishes crap. Let's pick up all this gold. This place is 
awesome treasure trove for gold early on in the game. Uh, but uh, really, I wouldn't come here just for gold. I'd come here for the rune more than anything else. That rune is the main reason that you would come here. The gold's kind of a bonus. Um, because runes are really rare this early in the game. And as far as I can tell, every time you Every time that you get you you kill her, you you get an, a rune. So that's what I would come down here for. If you wanted to say there's another place that you can go better for for grinding, <laughs> they brought back the blood fountains. Awesome. Then yeah, you can tell me that. I, I I won't disagree too much. Let's go back to town. I don't feel like running through this damn place again. So let me sell all this stuff. Oh, Hello. people have stuff they want to tell me. Uh, I think they all want to talk about the, me defeating the Countess. No matter who I go to in town, somebody wants to talk about it. Uh, does Akara want to talk about it? Apparently she doesn't. Uh, but I like the sound of Deckard Kane's voice, so let's hear what he has to say about it. Well done, my friend. Courage and opportunity together have created in you a kind of alchemy. Alchemy, you say? And now that we've heard from him, Kasha doesn't have anything more she wants to say about it. Your rewards are well earned. To us, the tower was nothing more than a headstone looming over a long forgotten grave. You can still see what she says by, by going through that. You know, they all have something they want to say over the. Uh, about the, the quest that you do, um, but most of them don't, like, really have anything to say, so I don't bother even talking about it. Let's get some shopping done.